So now in this video, we're gonna make an op amp voltage follower. So the output voltage will be the same as the voltage we give in thanks to negative feedback. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, coming up. But uh, in any case, I don't have a, a dual or split power supply. We're gonna make it a split supply version. This time, the LM358 is a single supply op amp, but it will work with uh, split supply as well. So it's uh, both single and uh, split. But in any case, we're going to split the rail with the TLE2426. It's going to take the voltage, supply voltage, and I'll put half of that voltage. So one rail will be more positive than our new ground, and one rail will be more negative than our ground right there. The circuit's going to end right there, as you can see with the output. And so we're going to give a voltage in with a trim pot. Trim pots don't power loads very good directly. And so we can give it to the op amp. The op amp will look at that voltage and output a voltage based on the voltage at the inverting input. And so when the inverting input goes higher than the non inverting, the output lowers the voltage. When it goes lower, the output raises the voltage. Since it's a direct connection, it'll raise and lower the voltage directly as needed to be the same voltage as voltage in even as the load varies. So it's uh, pretty nice. Now, since it's a split supply, when the uh, voltage is higher, then it's gonna be the halfway point, our new ground, then the output will source current through one LED, it's a polarity indicator, and when it is lower, uh, more negative than the halfway point, then it will sink current. Of course, these take a certain amount of voltage before they start conducting, so it's not gonna flip directly one to the other it's going to take a little while and then one of them is going to fade on and uh, we'll look at that coming up a little bit later. So in any case, I already have the uh, op amp wired up. So we have the uh, trim pot to the left right there and uh, one side to the negative rail, one side to the positive rail. Pretty straightforward. The middle pin connected to the wiper. It's about halfway right now and uh, so the voltage will change. It'll be uh, all the way to the negative rail there, all the way to the positive rail there, and then halfway point is our new ground, uh, zero volts. And so that goes to uh, third pin down. We should look at the uh, pin layout. I always review the pin layout of uh, integrated circuits and uh, other components before you use them. It's easy to forget them or confuse them with another op amp that has a different pin layout. So output is the top left pin, inverting input is uh, second pin down, non-inverting input, and then we have to power it. So that says ground, but it's not ground in this circuit. We're using it as a split supply instead of a single supply. So that's VCC, and uh, this would be VEE, or the negative uh, voltage. And uh, But in any case, that's the uh, pin layout. We won't dwell on that too much. The output and the inverting input are just connected directly together electrically. So I have this jumper. You can probably see it there, but I'll zoom in a little bit and uh, has no insulation so it's a little harder to see but we have a direct connection output to inverting input so now at the output we're also going to put our load which is going to be just a couple LEDs protected by a resistor and so first I'll do the LEDs so I'm going to take the uh, red LED I want it to light up when the outputs more positive so the anode the long lead there has to be connected towards the uh, output, short lead the cathode towards ground. So I have my rail splitter up here. I'm gonna put the uh, shorter lead to the output of the rail splitter. So this is the TLE2426. The uh, top pin is the in pin, and then the middle pin is the uh, common pin right there. And then we have our out pin, which is gonna be half of the supply voltage. Now, we're gonna grab a green LED just to color code them and uh, that'll let us know when the output's higher or lower. We're gonna put the uh, cathode, the short lead, towards the uh, output there. The long lead, the anode, towards our virtual ground. So turn it that way. So that's the longer lead connecting to the output where the uh, red LED is also connected, but in the opposite direction, right there. So I left a space in between them. I'll grab a 220 ohm resistor we're only gonna work with 10 volts total on the supply, and then when it splits it, that'll drop it down to five volts more positive, five volts more negative, 
and the output doesn't even go all the way especially to the positive rail it may struggle to get to the negative rail although this uh, op amp is supposed to go to the negative rail when current goes higher it kind of fails so again topics for other videos but I thought I would just quickly mention them now since this is the uh, quick video series so now we have the uh, power supply it already has 10 volts and it's already powering the board there's no LEDs lit though because we're about halfway and the output is about halfway so zero volts zero volts for the most part if I go towards the positive rail you can see the LED starts lighting up once we get enough voltage it blocks about a volt and a half before it starts lighting up at all and then this one about two and a half volts the green one before it uh, starts lighting up but that is a negative voltage but you can't really tell yet that it's more positive and more negative so we will grab a multimeter and look at it so now we have the uh, multimeter I'll set it to measure voltage it's an auto ranging so I don't have to set it to a range it does that automatically and first we can look at the uh, supply voltage by going to any two points that connect directly to the rail so there we go we have uh, 9.7 volts now our new ground is the output and so that's the top pin there I'll just touch it to the uh, resistor right there and you can see that uh, that's more negative by 5 volts and uh, that one is more positive by 5 volts and the LEDs are off we'll go to the output of the trim pot because we got about 0.169 volts and then in relationship to the output there it's uh, pretty much spot on exactly the same just a slight difference and so I can't find one of my uh, alligator clips to jumpers so I'm just going to uh, hold them both there and uh, hopefully you can see perfectly fine so I'll raise the voltage and uh, you'll see that the red LED lights up when we get about uh, about 1.5 volts it starts lighting up and it gets brighter of course as the voltage goes up let's see how high we can go so we can only get to 3.3 because the output doesn't go all the way to the uh, positive rail so now I'm going to turn the uh, trim pot down and you'll see the green LED lights up it takes more voltage but about two volts we get a faint glow and then really starts uh, uh, ramping up when we get closer to 2.5 volts but in any case there you can see we can get a little bit closer it looks like to the uh, negative rail but with this much current we're not quite getting all the way to the uh, negative rail so it can't provide much current uh, rail to rail it looks like so I'm going to remove the load and we're going to take a look at the uh, output so again I'm going to do that in relationship to uh, ground and uh, so there we have a negative 0.6 right there which kind of makes sense this is going a little bit towards negative but now without a load if I go all the way to the negative rail you can see that we do get 5 volts so I don't know how much current it can go where it gets to the negative rail but the more current it needs it, it doesn't quite get out of the way but you can see even with no load now we just have the uh, multimeter which is like 10 million ohms of resistance practically nothing you can see it doesn't go all the way to the positive rail we're shy about about a volt and a half and so that's why it's a single supply it can go all the way to the negative rail but doesn't look like it can do so with a lot of current going through it so that's just something to be aware of but in any case topics for other videos as you study op amps and stuff but I thought it was important to at least demonstrate that uh, really quick show it so I'll pop up some other videos make sure you check them out I always turn the multimeter off and definitely get it off measuring current if it's set to uh, measure current if there's a power button or something it's easy to blow those fuses so it's a uh, good if it has a power button still put it on voltage if it has a uh, dial like this set it to off so that it's off completely and you got nothing to worry about. Check out one of the other videos. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell. Donate to Patreon if you can. That would help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.